Hi everyone, welcome to Secret Squared, I'm She, and we will be today doing Halloween, yay! Halloween is like my all time favourite time of the year, so I thought I'd show my face because I haven't been on the videos for a while, to give you a good yeah! <laughs> So anyway, we're going to be making a glow-in-the-dark moon hanging using a pretty cool technique, which is so easy. Just print out a picture and put it in. Just do it on the right paper, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to the video. Please, please, please like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever it is. Just, you know, make me feel some love, please. I hope you like it. Bye. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to print out a picture of a moon. This is on a laser printer and you want to use a relatively thick paper. There's my moon printed out and there's my mould. Draw around your mould so that you will have a picture that fits into it. Once you draw it out, draw it around your mould, you're going to cut it out. So the paper that I used for this is thick, like double the thickness of the normal sort of A4 paper that you'd use in a printer. Uh, the higher the GSM number of your paper, it means the thicker the paper is. The reason you want this is because the resin will seep through and we're not going to bother with any sort of coating. If you don't have thick paper, the alternative is just to cover your moon with PVA glue or Elmer's glue or even Mod Podge, whatever you want. Just something to give it that barrier between the resin and the paper and it will work absolutely fine. Just going to double check that the moon fits into the mould and yep, perfect, there it is. So the moon's sitting in there nicely and I'm going to take this cobalt blue gold powder from Resonate. There's clear resin in that pot and I'm just going to add a bit of powder to it. Oh, oh I'm going to add a bit more and a bit more. <laughs> I think I'm done. Oh no, no, not done yet. <laughs> and still not done. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Better more than less, eh? So you're going to mix that into the resin. That is clear resin in there. As I've said in my previous videos, I like to reuse my equipment as much as possible to reduce waste. So that's just old dried glittery resin. So I'm going to pour that all over the moon. You only need a very thin coat for this because you don't want to get rid of that picture completely. Um, so enough to cover the, the back and the front so it's sitting in a nice little sandwich. Once that is dry, you're going to take your silhouette shapes. These are some bats that I had handy, but for this you could use black card, or if you have a Cricut, cut out some shapes, anything goes. Just you want a plain black silhouette that's going to glow nicely against that moon. These ones I think I got, oh, I think I got it in a craft bundle ages ago, but they're really handy. They're little vinyl bats. Um... I will try and find some if anyone does want to know where these specific ones are. But as I said, you can literally cut these out, draw your own. So all you're going to do once you've got the position that you like on them is pour over some clear resin. And then make sure it is covering all the edges because this is now going to be the front. So you want that nice and flat and covering all the edges so that you don't need to go back and dome it or fix any mistakes later. See, I'm just spreading it out there in the mould. You're then going to leave that to dry. And that is your piece pretty much done. It's so simple, right? And look at this. So there it is, all nice and ready to come out. And beautiful. So you can leave it just like that. Or, because that would be really nice by itself. Or you can add a string to hang it so with these i've just added little metal hooks on each side and a ribbon and it just looks beautiful that photograph of the moon really gives it that realistic feel and it's just stunning and so let's have a look what it looks like in the dark because that's the whole point of this and here we go oh look at that stunning right thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed i'll see you next time bye